all right so in this video we're going to be creating this rag based chatbot uh, where you enter the website url ask the question and you will get the answer using the deep seek r1 model you can see there is a think tag here which is essentially the main characteristics of the model itself where it thinks before it answers the questions to you right so i'm going to show you how we are going to be setting this up and this is how the setup looks like we are going to be using streamlit to create this ui and we are going to be using langchain to orchestrate the logic in the backend now i have done multiple rag videos on this channel so if you're new to this then i'd recommend first watching the rag tutorial because i'll give you a very very high level overview of what the process is i have a video so go ahead and watch that before you watch this video in case you've never done this setup before but to, on a very very high level what you need is you need python installed on your macbook or windows you need vs code install or you need to download vs code download uh, you need to install vs code in order to run the code once you have both of these set up the third thing you will need is you need olama in order to run this and finally you will need deep seek r1 model to in order to make this work so how you will do this after you install olama you open terminal and just run this command olama run deep seek r1 and this will get the model that you would need locally so once three of these steps are done at this point you're prepared to run this the next thing you want to do is create a virtual environment because with this we will be installing a bunch of different libraries that don't want to install across our laptop rather only keep this in our project so these are the commands that you would want to run for mac so python 3.11 minus m virtual environment my environment the second command you want to run in order to activate the created virtual environment is source my env bin activate now if you've named your environment something else then you need to change this name either ways once your environment is ready or created it should appear something like this then what we're essentially doing is that we're running this script by going into slash source slash bin and then activate which will activate the environment and it should look something like this right before your macbook name it should appear something like this the next thing you want to do is do command shift p and select interpreter and select the recommended one from here which is the one that that is set up in your environment now once the uh, installation of that is done you will need to install some libraries in order to make this work what you will need to install are these libraries and i'll add the command to this in the description you will need langchain langchain community beautiful so for fire cpu numpy requests and then finally post this go ahead and add stream lit now once you install all of this you will be set now already i already have this installed so this is how it looks like to me now now once all of this setup is done you should be in a position where you you will have nothing but a my environment file in here what you need to do next is select or click the empty space here click the new file and uh, create a new file so i'm gonna call this deep seek r1 web chatbot which is inside of this folder and this is how the folder structure looks like if you need access to all of my code i'll give you the link to the place where you can get access to all of this right so either ways once you create this file here you will need to import the relevant libraries and i'll add the code in the description as well so while i don't encourage that you copy and paste the code as is go through the video learn what means what if you have not done this before and then run it yourself or copy the code post that so we'll need to import a bunch of different things so streamlit will be used for ui you remember we installed a bunch of different packages here by doing pip install uh, for these packages now we need to import this in our code right so we have streamlit we have os we have requests in order to call external libraries we don't need bs4 or beautiful so 4 but i've just imported it because langchain uses some of these so obviously we need langchain for this because that is what is going to orchestrate all of this langchain is essentially a way for the or the framework that essentially chains the large language models right so we will need the text splitter in order to break the text down into chunk you will need embedding chat models vector stores you will need chains doc store and prompts in order to make this work then we'll use numpy temp file langchain community and langchain memory in order to store the memory we will then define some configuration variables where we will have 300 as the chunk size so we'll break the text into the uh, you know chunks of 300 chunk overlap meaning 50 characters of 
each chunk will be present in the subsequent characters and the model name is going to be deep seek r1 latest and the temperature is going to be 0.4 now post this we are just going to initialize some empty session states in order to make this work so if qa does not exist meaning question and answer chain does not exist then create an empty state same for vector store and chat history if you don't know what is vector store or chat history watch out my uh, video on the rack or the entire rack course video because this will help you understand the basics and in this video it wouldn't be wise for other people who are following along if i cover all the basics in here the next thing we want to do is fetch the data from the website so we will tell the user to enter the website details and then post he enters the details or they enter the detail we will get the data from the website so essentially we will extract the text from it and we will create a vector store for it so once you extract the data we create vector stores for the database or rather embeddings we convert the data into embeddings and then create vector stores and store it in the vector database which will then later be accessed when the user is asking questions then we will initialize the rack pipeline with the large language model Model, which is deep seek r1 we will create embeddings like i said we will create vector store again all of these are simpler concepts but you just need to go through that drill of knowing these concepts once and then videos like these will be super easy for you then we'll have the prompt template so answer the questions concisely based on only the given context then we'll have the prompt and the conversation buff buffer memory so after every chat i want to store some amount of knowledge from the previous chat so that the next response that the model gives is more contextually aligned then we'll create create the entire chain where we have the LLM chain type is stuff retriever is going to be vector store memory is going to be the memory that we created here conversation buffer memory and then chain type arguments is going to be prompt so we start with the prompt and then we define the main app where we have the title of the app the you know subtitle of the app and then url is going to be the text input from the user and when the user clicks the button we need to run this function fetch and process website data and initialize the session state now once the user is asking a question then we need to run the similarity search so we need to find the all the relevant chunks in our vector db that suit the question that the user is asking then we'll take all of these chunks pass it to the llm or the large language model for it to process the data and get the results from the model we will then take the result that we get from the large language model and in this case deep seek r1 and we'll punch this in the output for the user so very simple app and then we initialize the main function which will essentially run this once you have all of these things set up the next thing you want to do is streamlit run and then your chatbot url right so in order to if you have, if you have created this inside a folder just do copy relative path and then streamlit run paste the path here once you do this this should open a ui like this where you can now enter the website url so i'm going to use all social because i have it handy i'll show you two examples one of them is this so what is only social we don't have access to the internet right now but we can uh, at any point of time you know give access so on Oli specifically i have restricted the access for the web crawlers so you don't get a lot of data but i'll show you another website where you get all of this data as well but this is the data that we get right now for the question this is the relevant chunk that we found with the score and based on this we get the answer from the deep seek r1 thinking model so it's thinking and then it's answering so it's an ai powered chrome extension designed to enhance daily social media interactions offering tools to engagement through features like automated automatic posts and engagement analytics so then i'm going to do the next website where you actually get the data it was intentional to show you that example and then we do revens.com so when we process this website this has more data than uh, let's say ollie social right so i'm going to ask what is revens and when i ask this question you can see we get a huge chunk that goes in the input now this chunk will essentially help us build a better answer than you know not having or having very little website data you can actually create a lot more models now or you can create a lot more use cases using deep seek r1 and all of this right now is running locally i can turn off the internet and it would still continue to work obviously the data fetching is still done online but the model is generating all the output locally so you can see this was a pretty long thinking process and revens is an ai powered company offering range of services designed to enhance effectiveness of business advertising strategies across amazon and other marketplaces their offers include ai driven analytics automated optimization strategic advertising solutions and comprehensive reporting tools aimed at increasing revenue through data analysis and intelligent automations so this is on a very very high level a quick video on how you can create a rack chatbot using deep seek r1 in a sense we are leveraging olama which is an insane and my favorite framework in order to run these large language models because you can literally run these models in less than 160 seconds
models. And if you want to watch that video where I actually speed run uh, running these large language models locally, go ahead and check the video out in the description. But either ways, I think I hope this video adds value to you. Thank you so much for going through this and I'll see you guys in the next one.